However, OneNote Calendar gives you the ability to hold your photos, your files, your screen clips, your drawings and replays of those drawings, your audio recordings, uh, any dictations of dictated notes that you may be taking. You can post all of this information that may be associated with any given task right in your notebook. I have placed here a table. So if you like to use a table to organize uh, some of the things that you need to do each day or in a given day, then you can just copy this table and paste it into uh, any one of the days that you would like. Let's say I would like to use this uh, in the first. So I would just paste it there. And I would go ahead and list my to do's of any to do's that I may have for that given day. And so then you can just type your task in in that format if you would like. It may be possible that uh, you may have a task that relates to a file that you have or that you need. Uh, you can also come here and insert that file. And then it's going to ask you if you want to insert it as an attachment. You want to go ahead and insert this as an attachment so that it doesn't take up so much space. And so there is your file and you'll have your file handy uh, if you need to uh, use any information for that file uh, for your meeting. There may be an occurrence where you just remembered something that you may want to relay in your meeting. You can turn on dictation and dictate a quick note that will also be saved in your OneNote calendar entry, period. You can also record your audio notes right here in your calendar all together with your calendar event. All you have to do is go here and touch record audio. You will see that it will start recording and it will save that recording right in your calendar event. And you can play it back later. As you can see, my recording is now saved right here in my calendar event. In addition, you can also save any screen clippings. It is possible that I uh, could be online and I see some information that relates to uh, the meeting that I'm about to attend. I can clip that information straight from this screen. And so to do that, you, you will touch your uh, Windows button plus the Shift button plus S. You will see this screen appear. You can take any part of this screen and clip it Come back to your calendar event. And you can save it right in your calendar. Okay, so now I am here on my cell phone version. And I'm just going to go into my yearly calendar. I'm going to find January. Okay, so now here is my calendar. So I'm going to decrease this a little bit so that I can see the full calendar. And as you can see, my notes have now synced in from earlier. You can see here the information that I dictated, the quick note that I did, dictated here. And then also uh, here is my voice recording. No. Touch record audio. You will see that it will start recording and 
if will save that recording right in your calendar event. And you can play it back later. So as you can see, all of my notes are accessible right here. Also, on my handheld uh, cell phone version of the app as well. And so all of that information has synced over. Uh, also, I am using my uh, Samsung Note. And so I can take my pen out and actually make further notes uh, based on uh, what I have here. It's possible that there may be some information here that I want to highlight. Then I can highlight that using my pen. Go ahead. I can save that diagram and come back later on and replay that diagram on my desktop version. It may be also possible that I have run across some information that I would like to make a copy of. Uh, I can take a quick photograph of that information and just save it right in my calendar event. And so it's possible that I have a page here, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go now, and I'm going to use my office lens. And I'm going to go ahead, and I found an article. I'm going to take a picture of that article. I'm going to save it to OneNote. It's already set here to save to my Quick Notes. And it's done. Now I can go back. And go back to my quick note. And here is my note. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that note over to my yearly calendar. And there it is. And so having your notes in OneNote gives you that accessibility to be able to access all of your notes for your particular event or your task and hold all of those notes, documents, photographs, drawings, recordings, dictated notes, all in one place. Now this all sounds very exciting, doesn't it? And so I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the bell so that you can be notified when I post more videos 
here and on ProfessorBlackmore.com again, where our goal is to empower results through real productivity.